I'm genuinely curious about how stuff works. I mean, we're all curious. People are curious. Some are curious about what the neighbor is doing, and some people are curious about what the rock has to tell you. What I'm trying to do is to figure out how the reactions between rocks and fluids can maintain an ecosystem that is not fueled by sunlight. It is fueled by chemical reactions between rocks and seawater. So it's a way to understand the connections between the system Earth and the biology, the geology, and the connecting feature, which is the ocean. The first two rocks that we have, we picked them up from the gully that is extending from the cove. Very curious to see what they look like, so we'll cut them up and see what's inside. These systems that are active in St. Paul's rocks were active throughout most of Earth's geologic history. So if you want to understand something about Earth's past or the solar system, you can look at these rocks and study them in detail and see what the implications are. Similar reactions between similar rocks and water occur on icy moons like Enceladus or in Europa. And the lessons we learn from studying hydrothermal systems on Earth can inform us about similar processes on other planetary bodies in our solar system. We are trying to address some of the fundamental workings of Earth. Sometimes the story that the rock is telling you is really exciting and you never know what the story is. I'm curious to learn what it was and what it all means.